Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today we show the game play by Chris and Marija. And this beautiful game complete in just 19 moves. And let's see how the game play. The game starts with the pawn to e4, c5, d6, and now the white play d4. And here you have decision not drop and after this the pawn just capture and now the knight capture and in this position you can see that the knight in the center it will be a very strong knight in the center of the board so knight f6 was played and the knight f knight to c3 then the black play a6 and here the bishop to E2 preparing to go for a short castle. And after this, B5 was played. And here, after 6 move, you can see now the white is clearly better in this position. The game continues with the white play A3. Then, the black play E6. And after this, the white continue to put the bishop to F3 and you have the idea to move the pawn to e5 attack the knight and the bishop will attack the rook and this is a called a single move double attack and after this d5 was played and this is a tactical blunder as after this move the pawn can just capture the pawn e take d5 and after this if the knight takes d5 then the knight can just capture it back and after this pawn capture it back then the black the white can just go for a short castling and you have the rook to attack the king and you have a very strong attack from the white so let's say the black play bishop to e7 then you have a rook to e1 and if the black go for a short castling short castling then the queen can go to d3 and the queen can attack the pawn at h7 so at this position the white is still clearly better and if you put the bishop to develop such as bishop to b7 then the white can just play knight to f5 keep on the attack the bishop with the rook and the knight and also the knight can attack the pawn so you have a much better for the white in this position so therefore in the actual game after bishop f3 d5 was played then the white play bishop to g5 pinning the knight instead of capturing the pawn and after this the black play e5 taking the knight then after this the white continue to play knight takes the pawn and here you have the knight attacking the pin knight and after this move the pawn takes d4 and this is the first 10 move and after this move the white has a decent advantage with this bishop pinning the knight and after capture you can push the pawn attack the knight and also the bishop can attack the long diagonal and attack the rook so after this move e5 was played and you here you have a multiple track from the white and after this move the knight b to d7 protecting the knight and then the pawn just capture the knight and at this position the white is winning a piece back to this position one of the possible way to play will be like queen takes the knight and after this the bishop captured then the knight will just capture 
and here you have the queen exchange with the two knight and a bishop so here you will be better for the black to play at this position so after this move the pawn just capture the free knight and now knight capture back then the queen capture back the pawn queen takes d4 and here again the white is maintained attacking the knight so after this move the bishop e7 and now you have the you can go for a long castling and here the rook will be here and here the queen you have a very strong threat to the d5 so in the actual game the knight capture the knight and check the king and here after pawn capture then the bishop to c6 and check the king again and also the bishop can direct attack the rook so after this move the bishop to d7 and here the bishop just capture the rook and the queen capture back the bishop then the white go for a long castle and here the idea will be the queen capture the bishop and after this move the bishop just move to f5 trying to attack the pawn and after this move the rook h to e8 trying to pin the bishop and this disallowed the bishop to move and after this the black made another mistake of the move by playing queen to c6 and with this the white win the game in just one move i give a couple of seconds to figure out how the white made in one in this position well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are very simple move that the white play by playing queen to d8 and check the king after this move you can see that the king has no place to move and the bishop cannot capture back the bish the queen because it's being pinned by the rook and with this the king the king is checkmate in this position and back to this position this is rook is very sharp to pin the bishop and also the pawn cannot take the bishop and if you use the pawn to take the bishop then again you have a queen takes h8 and check the king and you'll be a checkmate as well so after come to here then the bishop cannot go down because it's being pinned by the rook and the queen is checkmate the king and again the king is being controlled by the rook at d1 as the king cannot move to anywhere so you be a very nice checkmate as well and back to this position one of the possible way for the black to save himself by playing a short castle and here this you need to give up the bishop so here the rook can just capture the bishop and you can see here the white will be clearly winning by six points and the game still can be played instead of immediate checkmate so after capture the bishop then the black can just capture the bishop and if the queen comes to f6 then the bishop can just go to g6 and the queen will just capture the pawn 
So after this position, the Y is still clearly winning in this position. So back to this position, after the King hustling, another solution that you can play is keep on the attack by playing Bishop e6 and attack the rook. Then also you can capture the bishop and also the queen can capture the pawn. And if you move away the rook to c8, and now if you capture the bishop, then here the black will just attack and capture the pawn at c2. So after capture, and now if your king goes to b1, then you can play a rook to d2, and this will be the open check, and the black will be able to capture back the queen at d4. For example, if the king move king to c2 then you will just continue to check and if your king goes to b1 then you can just continue to check again. but if the black move the king to a1 then the rook will just capture the queen and the rook will just capture and here the white is still winning but now is the white need to win without the queen so back to this position now the bishop you cannot capture first therefore you can just play a rook to d2 to protect the pawn from direct attack of the bishop and the rook and after this move the black you have nothing much to play you can just go for the action such as bishop f8 then bishop capture and then rook capture then the White can keep on attack with the pawn storm at the king's side. And after this, you shot to g6, then to play h4, you have the pawn storm trying to attack the bishop. You also can play the pawn to f4. So after h6 can be played, and now you can just push the pawn forward to h5. Then bishop to h7. And now the queen will just capture the pawn and next you bring out the rook into the action. So the queen can just capture the pawn and here nothing much the black can do. You can play pawn the queen to c8. Then the queen will just capture again and the queen will just capture the pawn at g4. So after this you can play a pawn sacrifice. If you capture the pawn then you have a rook to g1 check and this will be very easy checkmate so if your king move to h8 then you have queen to g7 checkmate or you can also capture the rook and the bishop defense then you have queen capture the bishop and you'll be a checkmate as well so back to this position this is another brilliant sacrifice from the white that can play and if the queen goes to g3 maintain to, for defense the g file then the queen can back to e3 and the idea is to bring the rook to g1 protected by the queen and attack the queen and g file and after control the g file the black is completely winning the game so if you move the king to h8, then the rook will continue to attack at g1. And if the queen back to b8, then the queen can go to h6. And this will be a very simple checkmate. So if you use the rook to g8, then you have the queen to f6 check the king. And the rook to g7, then you have queen capture the rook and it will be a very nice checkmate so back to this position so here nothing much you can do at this position so if you play the g3 just to delay the checkmate the rook will just capture and 
now same position if you rook come to g8 the queen can just goes to f6 and check again the king or another idea that you can play is you can play rook takes the rook sacrifice and after king capture then you have a rook to d8 and this will be a nice check made so therefore after this position you can see that after this move of rook to e1 the white has many idea to play and most of the game is controlled by the pin from the white and with this thank you for watching